So if you focus on the right things, this will help you accomplish anything. And I really want to help you accomplish whatever it is in your dreams so that you can just really live the life that you've always wanted. Well, welcome back to the Professional Rule Breaker Podcast. I'm your host, Kathy Walterhouse. And here at the Professional Rule Breaker Podcast, we love to embrace the unconventional to achieve extraordinary results. So today, we are going to delve into a topic that is really important for every single entrepreneur out there. It's focus. And I'm sure you know people that are so ultra talented and they always seem to be really, really busy, but they never, never reach their goals. So what's the problem? Well, they spread themselves thin. They are lost in a sea of tasks. They're unable to prioritize and they don't know what truly matters. Does it sound familiar? I know that I've been in that boat sometimes and I bet you you have too. So this story really mirrors the struggle of a lot of entrepreneurs out there. So James Clear said that focus is an art of knowing what to ignore. So that's going to be the goal of this podcast to help you figure out what you should focus on and what to ignore. Because remember, everybody has the same exact 24 hours in a day. So what would happen in your business or your life if you were truly able to focus? So I'm going to have four tips to help you steer back to being on track. So tip number one of the day is prioritize your priorities. Like I said, everybody has the same 24 hours a day. So it's all about smart action. And I'm going to tell you, not inaction, but smart action. It's about filling up your plate and choosing the right ingredients. What is the next right move, the next right thing? You have to truly identify what moves the needle for your business and focus on there. There's a saying that is, it's actually a sales saying, but it really pertains to this too. A confused mind says no. So if you have all this stuff going on and you don't know what to focus on, in essence, what you're doing is you're saying no. You're saying no to your next right move, to building your business to where it needs to be, to doing something that you feel is so important in your life. So again, Prioritize the priorities. Okay, tip number two, master your schedule. You got to schedule your priorities before your day fills up. Because remember, more isn't better. It's about doing the right things. And you got to focus on the priorities that will help you win the day, which I love that saying, win the day. So fill your schedule before someone else does. So you got to schedule what you want to do first and what you want to do second before your calendar fills up. Because if you don't do that, guess what's going to happen? You're, you're going to be busy all day long and you're going to end up at the end of the day and you're going to go, wait a minute, what just happened there? Did I, I didn't do the things I wanted to do. And then you're going to leave and you're, you know, from work or from your office and you're going to be frustrated. And then when tomorrow comes, 
If you let the same thing happen, you're going to be frustrated again. And it's going to be this massive snowball effect in which you feel like you can't catch up and that you can't do the things that you need to do. And that frustration is going to grow. And then you potentially will give up or throw your hands up. So I don't want you to do that. Okay, so schedule your priorities. Okay, tip number three, balance action with celebration. I can't stress that enough. I don't want you to wait to feel good. I want you to celebrate when you accomplish stuff, even if it's like little itty bitty baby steps. You don't want to go, you know what? I'm going to celebrate when I make a million dollars or I, you know, sell so much or this thing happens. You don't want to wait. You don't want to wait until that actual thing happens. Because you can keep on waiting. And again, it's all about how you feel throughout the day. If you feel really empowered and energized and ready to go because you know you're accomplishing things, you're going to actually accomplish more. Remember, success is like a vitamin. So this positive reinforcement is going to fuel you to have further success. So celebrate your wins, even if they're like what I said, a little itty bitty micro win, because no matter what, sometimes things get in your way, but that didn't mean that you didn't accomplish something. Baby steps are great. Remember the story about the turtle and the hare? The hare is a lot faster and he was trying to finish faster, but then he got all worn out. Yet the turtle kept on going slow every single day and got to the finish line first. So remember that. Celebrate your wins and just make it fun. Because if it's no, you know, if it feels like it's work and there's no play, you're going to burn out. All right. Tip number four, show up for yourself. How you show up makes a difference. You have to be in a hundred percent, you know, because if you're in like midway, you know, like, yeah, I'm only going to give partial efforts. What type of results do you think you're going to, you're going to be mediocre? You want to know the trick? You need to start the morning with some gratitude and then set your intentions. Now, I know you might think, well, that's a little woo-woo out there, but I'm going to tell you, if you start your morning with gratitude, you can do like the top three things that you're grateful for and then set your intention right then and there, your attitude and your energy will be completely different rather than like maybe looking at your phone and going to the news and looking at some things that maybe aren't great. So... Show up for yourself, be grateful, set your intentions, and don't forget to challenge yourself and add winning habits that's going to help you win the day. And these winning habits can be as simple as working out before you start the day, because that's going to give you a heck of a lot of energy. Or maybe setting up a goal saying, you know, today I'm going to call 10 new prospects. Or maybe making things a non-negotiable, that no matter what, you're going to do it. I like this one, do 1% more. So if you're doing a task, or let's just use an analogy. Let's say you just started working out and you can only do 10 setups. Well, that's okay. So tomorrow... What you do is you add 1% on there. So you do 11. So do the exact same thing in your business day. It kind of gives you a little bit of juice when you accomplish those things. And before you know it, you're doing a lot more. Like if I added one sit up a day, every single day for a year, you know what? Think about how many sit ups I would do by the end of the year. That would be a lot, wouldn't it? All right, so 
let me let me just talk about this because why am I talking about focus? So if you focus on the right things, this will help you accomplish anything. And I really want to help you accomplish whatever it is in your dreams so that you can just really live the life that you've always wanted. So I want you to think about maybe taking a trip. And you know you have to go, let's say we're going from Florida to California. Well, you normally use a GPS, wouldn't you, if you're driving that way? Because otherwise, think about, like, you you would get to a road and you'd be like, should I turn here? Should I not turn here? So just as a traveler, just as you would be using a map to reach your destination, setting your priorities are a map for your entrepreneurial success. Because if you know where you're going, it's easier to get there. All right. And the magic really happens when you know your priorities and you plan ahead. You know, Brian Tracy once said, every minute that you spend planning saves 10 minutes in execution. And that gives you a thousand percent return on en in energy. So just think about that. If you start planning, how much time could you actually end up saving? So I just want you to think about that. So I'm going to walk you through my process just really, really quickly on how to accomplish anything. But I want to say, because it's more than just planning, there are areas that I want you to really reflect on your successes, and setting the focus for tomorrow. Like I said before, it's about celebrating the victory, no matter how small, and using that momentum to fuel your next big win. So how does it work? Okay. The biggest thing is I want you to think about what is your mission? Because your mission is like your compass in your business. So I want you to slow down a little bit. If you're anything like me, I, I move pretty quickly on things, but I want you to slow down on this part because this is really important. I want you to focus on what do you really want? What will be important for you in this next year? I mean, what would make your year? Like, would it be writing a book or landing 10 new clients or taking an amazing trip or having a new course or a new mastermind or whatever it might be? What would give you the biggest juice for the next year? So once you have figured that out, I want you to spend some time and visualize what you want. And I want you to do a brain dump. I want you just to start writing of this all out. And just keep on going. I mean, this can go over a series of days. Just maybe spend an hour today or a few hours today and really, really write things out. Write like a hundred things that you want in your life and your business because it really helps you understand who you are and what you want. I have a friend that is an amazing coach. His name's Vomsi and he does a program in which he does 101 things that you want to do. And so this is a little bit of a takeoff like that. We kind of both do something a little bit similar. And uh, if you do that, you will be surprised with some of the things that come up. And then the next thing I want you to do is on a daily basis, I want you to do something called an hour of power. Now, just that name itself, doesn't that give you some juice? 
doesn't give, it give you some excitement? So every day, if you do this hour of power, you look at your list. Oh, and I should probably re- go back just a second because once you have that list, I want you to prioritize that list. I want you to write ones by the things that are most important and two, the next most important, threes and the next important. And then when you go to your hour of power, you look at your ones and you grab the three top most important things and you make those your priority in your day. And you only focus on it, that on your priorities. Think about it as like running a marathon. If you knew that you had to run a marathon, would you think, oh my gosh, I have 26 miles and you focus on those 26 miles the entire time that you're running the marathon? No, I'm gonna tell you right now, marathon runners don't do that. They focus on the mile that they're on at that moment. And then when they reach the next mile, they focus on that. So that's what you're going to do with your top three priorities. You're just going to focus on those. And make sure you schedule them in on whatever type of planner it is that you use. And then when you accomplish anything on those priorities, what did I say before? You celebrate and you have, if you can, a moment of gratitude. Because when I look back to when I was younger and I had all these amazing things that I did and I accomplished, I wasn't grateful for it. So I want you just to pause for a second and just be grateful for it. And then once you're at the end of the day, I want you to plan out what's going to be the things that you want to focus on tomorrow. What are your priorities? So when you focus on your mission and your priorities, I'm going to tell you, it's a game changer. Really, really a big game changer in your entrepreneurial journey. And if you follow this format, I guarantee to you that it's going to revolutionize your business. So just a couple things that I just want to remind you of. Remember, focus isn't a skill. It truly is a lifestyle. I want you to embrace it. And I want you to watch the impossible become possible because you have something special and you have this passion. So. It's like taking that rock and throwing a stone into the water and creating this ripple effect in what it is that you do. Because as you do that, you're going to be helping other people. And in addition to that, every single ripple effect that you do is growth for you. And you're just going to be building on all these amazing things. So, For everybody that's out there, keep breaking the rules, but never lose focus on what truly matters to you. Again, I'm Kathy Walterhouse, known as the Professional Rule Breaker. Be sure to check us out at theprofessionalrulebreaker.com. And we are here to help you succeed. Until next time, my friends. 